ANC event. This is ANC National Chairperson Gwede Mantashe uh, addressing this event. Let's step in. Uh, the, the, there was election in uh, Tanzania, election all over. The ANC takes the time to issue statements because one of the issues that we have learned to, to respect is sovereignty of other countries and do an analysis of what is the, the outcome and what are the, for example, let me give you an example something. Let's say, for example, we condemn a particular candidate and that candidate wins the elections. We are a governing party in South Africa. We will be forced to work with that party that wins the elections. That's why it is always important for us not to put the cut before the horse as a governing party. No, thanks, uh, National Chair. I see there's a, there's a hand from uh, Hotato. There's an, okay, uh, Sam Kelo wants to make a follow-up, and then there's uh, Karin, and then there's uh, Lizega. Yeah, those are the hands we have now, uh, National Chair. We'll start with Hotato, go to Sam Kelo, take the hand from Karin, Lizega. Uh, that will have concluded this round. I take it that other members of the media who are here uh, who have not uh, raised their hand or indicated their interest to ask questions on behaving more follow-ups, because this is uh, the last round of questions, as I indicated, before we start. Can we start with you, Khotato? Uh Yes, uh, Khotato Madisa here from the Sunday Times. Um, uh, National Chair, I just wanted to, to get clarity. So are you saying that the ANC is rejecting this lengthy document by... By, by, uh, from the CADA summit uh, in its totality. Can you just please clarify? And if not, what, which points are you, are, you, are, you, are you concerned with? Because they are calling for basically the disbandment of, 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 the, exec of the national executive um, for a national uh, task team. Can you just please clarify us on that? And um, the, the, can, can you also just uh, please uh, help us with the, with the tone of the meeting? Was it, was it hostile in any way? Because this document seems to be very directive, uh, uh, basically calling for specific things directly. How, how was the tone of the meeting? Thank you. Okay, can we go to Sam Kelo? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mavi. Uh, National Chair. I, I'm not really understanding you. You, say, you are sounding like a person who's speaking with a forked tongue when it comes to the United States. You've That's had Donald right. Trump in the past who's come out openly and said that there may be genocide happening in South Africa, particularly when it comes to farm killings. And he went on to speak against the ANC's own conference resolution of land expropriation without compensation, which prompted the president in uh, Limpopo uh, to respond to the president of the United States of America to stay out of the affairs of South Africa. So you are saying that you would work with an individual who has seemingly come out and spoken against your own policy direction of your own government and your own political formation instead of coming out clearly as the ANC and saying that we are supporting this particular individual because he's been our traditional ally in the form of Joe Biden in the yester years of struggle uh, from the liberation struggle of South Africa. Where does the ANC stand as an organization when it comes to the elections in the United States of America? And then secondly... Uh, I'm just going to ask a question. The ANC has an issue of those who are charged with issues of corruption to step aside. Bongani Bongo has just recently been charged mm. for corruption when he was still a head of legal in the Human Settlements uh, Department in Mpumalanga. Will he be stepping aside as a member of uh, the National Assembly as chairperson of Home Affairs? Uh, the ANC in KwaZulu-Natal has brought back Michael Mabuyakul as its deputy chair, who is also charged with corruption alongside the likes of Mapeleni when it comes to a, con uh, um, a concert that was supposed to happen within that particular province. What are the guidelines in the issues of stepping aside of those who are charged with corruption and malfeasance? Thank you. Thanks. We've got Karin and then uh, Tula Sizwe. Karin? Thanks, Pule. Karin de Pussi, um, a freelance. I'm writing a story for Daily Maverick. Uh, seeing, Ms. Uh, Ms. Matashe, that you've mentioned Tanzania, I'm, uh, I think it's probably fitting to ask a question. The countries had their elections last Wednesday. 
today and the president was already declared victorious, I think, over the weekend. And there's no way the results can be challenged. So I'm just wondering, when can we expect an ANC statement of congratulations for the fraternal CCM? Uh, it seems to have taken quite a while. Um, so I'm just trying to think, to figure out when, when we can expect that statement. Thank you. Hi, Pule. Hi, uh, Mr. Mandashe. The question for me from this whole discussion. Um, yes, yes, and Dr. Mandashe. Dr. Mandashe. Dr. Mandashe. Good evening. The question for me is Does this whole discussion that's happening now around the retired generals and the role of members of the SANDF security forces? also bring forth the need for you as the ANC to address once and for all what the role of this MKMVA is um, in association within the Secretary General's office. Is it still serving the purpose that you had for it when you founded it, or has it become you know, a tool um, in, in the factional battles within the ANC, given what we're seeing in places like KZN, the marches that are happening from time to time, do you not need to deal with this structure, non-structure, once and for all? No, thanks to the Caesar. I take it that the hand from uh, Juanita is the last one. Then the, the national chair is going to answer all the questions that would have been asked. Juanita? Uh, thank you very much. Just to, to double uh, on my question that I asked earlier, uh, Chair, are you, uh, are you concerned around, as the ANC, are you concerned around the possibility that this formation may lead down the road to a coup? Uh, that's that's just the, the the clarity that I wanted. And and then just a, a follow-up uh, in terms of what happens next. Are you meeting with them again, or is all um, uh, good faith squandered now that the document is in the public domain? Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Uh, National Chair, uh, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much. Um, is the answer rejecting the joint document in its entirety? They are calling for the disbandment of the NSC. What was the tone of the meeting? I must start with the tone of the meeting. The, the tone of the meeting was cordial, precisely because many of them are people we know. When we talk to General Mojo, talk about General Mojo, which we know from for a long time. So there was no need for tensions. And the document, when we are engaged with them, as I opened, I said, we uh, wouldn't take up an issue with their analysis of the global balance of forces, though it was scandal. We wouldn't take any issue with the question of the analysis of the balance of forces domestically, uh, including the question of neoliberalism and neocolonialism. We accepted that they, um, both neocolonialism and neoliberalism are on the rise, not in South Africa, but globally. And the biggest debate was about the analysis about the ANC. And many of the questions in that section have not been answered and settled now. That's why we will meet them next time to take the discussion forward. So in that, in that regard, we are engaging them like any other group in the ANC that raises issues because we have reminded ourselves that it is the duty of leadership to listen to issues and be constructive in dealing with criticism directed at leadership. Um, we reminded ourselves, for example, of how Oliver Tambo dealt with criticism in Morogoro and how we turned around the argument in Kabwe of a crisis and it attended the crisis of our advances. So we will engage with uh, any group in the NC that raise issues, try to understand it, and give them answers. But the point we're making, you say they're raising specific issues, the disbandment of the NC. We, we, we raise it uh, upfrontally that we don't think that we can put up that for a group to meet and then decide to disband the NC. The NEC of the ANC is the supreme body of the ANC between conferences.
And therefore, that question is not up for discussion. Let me leave that. Let me move to the others. I will come back to you, Samkele, because you are raising everything and anything that has nothing to do with the briefing today, but I will come back to you. Let me deal with the, the security forces versus MKMV and the Office of the SG. Security forces are statutory institutions that have a statutory responsibility, and our view is that we should not drag them into party political dynamics in whatever way. We made that clear, and that is our position on, 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 on security forces. MKMV is an association of a military combatants of Mkondo Wesleyan, and that is an association that must never be delegitimized. If some of the people in it behave rationally, we will always appreciate the fact that that is rational behavior. But it should never discredit the need for a, a military veterans association to deal with issues and social welfare of military veterans. So that's how we deal with that. How they relate to the office of the ST, I think the ST can deal with that if you think you have a question about it. Uh, but when I was ST for some time, I related to all of them. Concerns about the, the coup. Now, actually, they made it clear themselves, even before I question that, listen, we are not coup plotters. And we threw at them a document we developed some few years back as liberation movements in the region, which was uh, raising the threat of uh, of uh, uh, not coups, but uh, where's my mind going now? Uh, regime change. Regime change. Regime change. Regime change. We raised them that the, 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 this document was thought through and we discussed it for days and come with a document that was raising issues about the threat of regime change in Southern Africa, particularly against governments of liberation movements. So that debate is on the table. So we'll still be meeting them uh, uh, on Thursday next week and engage with all the issues that are on the table. Now, let me come to Mabuya Kool. You see Mabuya Kool? Your, uh, uh, your problem is that you have ideas and views. When you come to a media briefing, you want people to uh, just repeat your thoughts uh, as you think them. Uh, that we're talking about folk time when it comes to the USA. Uh, Donald Trump has been the president of the USA for four years. Uh, we never cut ties with the United States as a country because we are a governing party and a governing party in government and we have to deal with that government, deal with problems, deal with issues that favor us, and that will continue. Um, now, you are creating an alliance with uh, a Democrats that are historic allies. Uh, and if we can put it to you in a more relevant environment and say, just describe this uh, alliance with uh, uh, the with the Democrats. In my own view, I can remind you some kind of good. Few countries that never imposed sanctions against the apartheid South Africa is the U.S. and U.K., irrespective of who was in power. So the, what you are playing on is a more involved discussion of how it related to these countries. So you are bringing things that are not relevant to a, a briefing that is here. Now you want to talk about Bongo and Mabuya Kumu, and I would imagine uh, that when the ANC discusses... All right, uh, let's cut it there. That is the ANC National Chairperson, Gwede Mantan.